Stewart to the lead with Hornish's help. Can Hornish stay tucked behind him Blank. for one more lap? White flag in the air at Daytona. Regan Smith to the outside. Can Slowski push it him? That's where that side draft comes into play. You can see Sam Hornish coming off the bumper of Stewart. Oh, oh the center. Contact. Bowman pushed by Kligerman. Somehow they got out of it and saved it. Hornish now back behind Stewart. Up to the outside. Two is Brian Scott. See, Tony Stewart just pull his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's going to have it, too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, 7. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. What a performance this has been today. If you weren't with us earlier, Kyle started on the pole, led the first 40 laps, then missed his pit stall going down the pit lane, overshot it because of a change in the way the pit stalls are assigned this year. You don't use that first pit stall, had to back up, then was penalized for speeding, went back to 23rd, and in 45 laps went back to the lead, got shuffled back again when others didn't pit on that last caution, and again worked his way from fifth back to the front. The second longest drag spell of his career in the Nationwide Series nice is job, over. Guys. Kyle Busch wins at Phoenix. Thank you, thank you. It's not easy when you have the best race car to go out and make everything work, especially in late restarts. Yeah, you got to give Sam a lot of credit. Drove a great race, but I'll tell you, Greg Irwin put a setup under this race car that was unbeatable today. We're into the final lap. If the caution comes out now, the race is over. And Horn is clear of Kyle Busch. Fuel should not be an issue. They talked about this season needing to finish strong in the final part of the race. Well, how about having to get away from Kyle Busch on two restarts inside the final 15 laps? That's closing strong. And for the second time in his NASCAR Nationwide Series career, Sam Hornis Jr. is going to victory lane. White flag. Last lap underway at Bristol. Who gets the trophy? Kyle Larson looking on Kyle Busch. Slow cars ahead, final corner. Busch drives the bottom, Larson goes high. Squeeze to the strike. Kyle Busch by a fender at the finish line. Well, he's only got two more miles for something to happen in his favor. White, White flag. flag is up. Clear him. And we're into the final lap today in California. What a streak, what a performance by a driver and a team at one track and even over a five-year period for Kyle driving these Gibbs Nationwide cars. But even at this particular track, only 60 miles from the Toyota USA headquarters in Torrance, California, 48 miles from Toyota Racing Development's headquarters in Costa Mesa, since Toyota teamed up with Joe Gibbs at this track, they will remain undefeated in the Nationwide Series on their home speedway. Another win for Joe Gibbs Racing, Toyota, and Kyle Busch at California. One to go for Kyle Busch. White flag, one more smart one, he will get you about 40 back. One more smart one. What can you say about what he and this team have accomplished so far this season? With everything they've accomplished in the past, Everything that they've accomplished at this racetrack. Tonight, Kyle Busch is going to keep the roll going one more time. Going to wind up leading the most laps and taking home a series leading sixth nationwide win at Texas. Kyle Busch, the winner tonight. White flag is up. We enter the final lap at Richmond. Kevin Harvick has led around. the most laps tonight but is running second by a few car lengths. The Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch has fallen to a distant third. The streak will stop here.
He took advantage of a couple of late restarts, and he's going to take it all the way to victory lane. Brad Keselowski wins tonight at Richmond. Remember the location of the finish line at Talladega. So Kligerman is tucked in. He's not worried about cooling his car. He's going to burn the thing down and run right to the finish. I think Kligerman's in the seat right here to win this thing. Ten cars chasing after him in the draft. Final lap with Talladega. Who's going to get back here first? I like Kirk Busch's chances. I spoke way too early. Yeah, he's got the momentum right here with all guys. There they go. Oh, he side drafted as hard as he could. He split them up. Don't count Logano and Bowman out, though. Here they come. Here comes 20 and Vickers, 11 and Sadler up through the middle. Oh, Bowman trying to stay with Logano. Kurt Busch sliding up the track to block. Here comes Regan Smith to the outside. Logano moves to try and pick him up. Smith to the bottom. Oh, Vickers turned around. Who gets to the checkered flag? Here they come to the strike while they crash behind him. The winner of this race has just been called. It's Regan Smith in the seven. And one more lap. White flag, one more. From victory. Joe Gibbs Racing has won six of the last seven here at Darlington. That is a record of accomplishment to be envious of. Final corners for Kyle Busch. Some lap traffic in the way, but no pressure from behind. His fifth win of this season, and his 56th in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, Kyle Busch wins it at Darlington. So Rob Larson has a lap and three quarters to see if he can get Joey Logano for third. And a job well done by Kyle and his team today. What a job by Kyle Busch and his team. And he just, yeah, he did a great job all day, but it's just amazing. Look, when Andy said it looked like Casey Kane was going to, he ran right up to his bumper, and Kyle went to block, and now he's just pulled away. Last lap is underway, and Casey Kane is now eight tenths of a second behind Kyle Busch. If he makes it through this final half lap, the records continue to mount. He'll break a tie with Mark Martin for most nationwide series wins at this racetrack. And he'll score his sixth win in nine tries this season aboard this car. Kyle Busch wins it at Charlotte. Yeah, baby. The well, story of this race, when you sum it all up, is Kyle Busch has certainly had one of the best cars. Joey Logano has had a really good car and done a lot of leading but was five seconds behind Kyle Busch. When a late caution came out, pit strategies were played by Kyle's team and Casey Kane's team that put them back 10th and 11th for a restart. A restart that came with 34 laps to go. They have not gotten the caution they needed to change the outcome. And now Joey Logano is a half a lap from scoring a third straight win at Dover. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough, tough racetrack. If you come here and win three times, you earn your money. Never been done before in the Nationwide Series. Done now by Joey Logano. He makes it three straight at the Monster Mile, winning by five-tenths of a second over Brian Vickers. Kyle Busch will have to settle for fifth. Thank you, guys. Great car. Lap and a half to go. Traffic. And a lot of it to negotiate. Yeah, he worked that really nicely, though. He was uh, just patient enough. You can see that car a little bit on the loose Get side. white flag. All you got to do is bring it back, brother. Bring it back to me. Now, so many storylines to pile up on this one. A stunning late race turn of events. After Austin Dillon dominates, Trevor Bain rallies, passes him late, and is going to celebrate his honeymoon in Iowa with a trophy and a trip to I'll victory lane. Trevor Woo, Bain baby. is the winner. Woo. Still maintains the gap. Coming oh to the white flag. One lap to go. Smith in the seven, the championship leader. Larson in the 32, the rookie of the year leader. Who gets back first to win it? Larson had a big run there, but used a lot of racetrack. Okay, just be smart. Bring it home here. Six back. One more time. Trample.
one more corner to get through. He's done it cleanly. The championship leader is going to have a huge day in Michigan. Regan Smith wins it. He still has four miles to go on this fuel load, though. Still we a lot are. of nerves. Sorry, Andy, we are in the last lap of this race. Okay, bud. Big Does anybody here. run out of fuel? One more smooth lap. One more. He needs one more gallon of gas to make it back. These cars get about four miles to the gallon, and we got four miles to go. There's the race for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. side of Brian Vickers and clunk there oh and Kelly gets by Vickers as well boy he's probably thinking AJ is how can I save a little bit of fuel and still run hard stay in front of Algar it's really hard to do but he's got a hunt for a little, couple spots he's two miles in this last lap right now with two miles to go Owen oh, Kelly with a move on Sam Hornish. Or tried to, anyway. Looks like Sam held on. Stays in fourth. Through the kick. And now the run down through Kettle Bottoms to Canada Quarter. In terms of laps led, A.J. Allmendinger has dominated this race, but he's still got a bit to go to get back to take the trophy. Kelly and Hornish going at it. He makes it to turn 14 now. He's still got to climb all the way up that hill. Uh, cars off at Canada Corner. Oh, they're they bringing it Smith. Smith. The final climb, the checkered flag, and the win for A.J. Allmendinger in Road America. He scores for Roger Penske. Ninth might be the finish he ends up with, Nicole, because, man, the sky has definitely opened up. Yep. In fact, that is exactly what will ha happen. Uh, Sam Horner Jr. will finish this race in ninth because the race is now official, and you are looking at the winner. Brad Kozlowski will appear to be driving into victory lane as he climbs back in the car for his second career nationwide series win at Kentucky. While out front, Kenseth and Busher have gotten away. Here they come to the white flag. Oh, Hornis jumps out and leaves Sadler there. Hornis is trying to get over to Logano. He's there. I don't know if they've got enough time to get back there, though. We're going to have a huge run. We're on the last lap. Does something happen before they get to the finish? And who gets to the finish first? They've got about three quarters of a second to make up. They've got, got enough time. Here. Yeah, it's just a matter of if this gets all the way back without the caution coming out. Not sure how likely that is here. A lot of contact in that pack. Oh! This there is behind everything. Brad Sweet gathers it back up. Three wide, but it's for third place. Kenseth and James Butcher well out in front as they come to turn four. A lot of pushing and shoving right here. His instructions for tactics on the last restart work. Matt Kenseth gets pushed to the victory at Daytona. And somehow, they get through those final two laps without another major incident. Wow, that's unbelievable. It's Kyle Busch, Brian Vickers, and then Austin Dillon. It's going to be Kyle Busch picking up win number four. Somehow, they got enough fuel in the tank, and they made it. I'm sorry, final lap. They One more lap to go. I got so excited, I got one lap ahead of myself. Yeah. Casey Kane's on pit road. Looks like he's out of fuel. Kane did make it to pit lane. No caution. Down through the final corner. 
Here we go. This time it is for real. Checker flag is out. Kyle Busch is going to make it. Vickers is going to come home second. Austin Dillon gets the dash for cash. Brian Scott ends up in fourth. And look at the 19 of Mike Bliss as he is down off the track. White flag is up. We are in the final lap at Chicagoland. The Penske teammates, one and two, Logano and Hornish. Dillon solidly in third for the Nationwide Insurance. Dash for cash bonus. Now who wins the race? Hornish trying to get a run at Logano. He does not have much time. The Busman's Holiday for Joey Logano pays off just like he wanted it to. Checkered flag and Chicagoland win for Joey Logano and Penske Racing. Woo! Thank you. Good job, Derby. Good call today. Good car. White flag in the air for Kyle Busch. He's in the final lap here at Indianapolis. The fight is for second place between Joey Logano and Brian Scott. While Kyle Busch looks to score what would be one of the biggest ever of all of his Nationwide Series wins. That was the white coming back. Checkers, 20 back. They won't get to you. Even when you have a dominant car, they're never easy, are they? Never easy, no. And uh, we talked about that restart and what could possibly happen. Joey Logano did everything he could. Almost made it happen. What a drive for Brian Scott. In position to get a runner-up finish today. His best ever in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. But this day has been all about the all-time leading Great winner in this yep. series. Scoring his 59th win and his first in Indy. Kyle Busch wins at the Brickyard. White flag is out. I don't see much reserve in Sam Hornish. And as much as I enjoy that, it doesn't always reward you with a championship. Sometimes you sometimes you do have to pause and look at the big picture. Well, Brad Keselowski makes it through turn three and four and has going to end an old for hex. Trophy. For the first time after having a pit road penalty, he's going to win a race in the Nationwide Series. Meanwhile, one lap to go. The white flag is out, and it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to tie Sam Hart with his fourth win. And Sam Horn is going way wide. He is solidly in second place. All clear, clear, man. You're doing fine. What an impressive streak by the Sprint Cup champion, the former Nationwide champion, and the driver behind that wheel of the 22. How about the rest of these guys in the Nationwide Championship doing, doing the job they needed to do with Hornish, Good. Vickers, Regan Smith, Elliott Sadler all right there inside the top five taking advantage of Austin Dillon's struggles. And everybody has tightened up on the championship lead. We'll update it once we get everybody across the line. But right now, all eyes focused on Brad Keselowski. As you can see, he can just keep it on track. And there's the gap back to second place, Sam Hornish. One more corner to go. Through turn number seven, it will be his 24th win in his 199th nationwide race and fourth in the row. Checkered flag to Brad Keselowski. Into the carousel. This time by, there will be the white flag. And it looks like it'll come down to just one right, buddy, green white checker. Nice. 30, 30 car finally runs out of gas after struggling for a half dozen laps. And the 54 spins. Oh, no. The owner's championship for Owen Kelly. And that 54 team is in the sand out of turn number one. Owen Kelly had made no mistakes all day, but the one mistake or whatever happened there costs him greatly. Oh, they're getting really clustered up here from third on back. Kelly trying to get out, but it's going to cost him a ton of points in the owner's championship. And look at further back, the battle for fourth. As that is Vickers trying to get his sixth straight top five at the expense of the 33 of Max Pappas. The drivers aren't going to give much. Boy, Pappas is not giving him any quarter. There's Kyle Larson in the mix, as well as the 11 
of Elliott Sadler. It's the last lap. Everything's for keeps. Every position's a point. You're really narrow-minded. You're selfish. You're thinking about yourself. If you're going to use up a driver, it will come here in the last lap. A.J. Allmendinger, if there's justice, is being served because he's led the most laps. His car is nearly perfect. He's coming through the last corner. There goes the 53 of Andrew Ranger, of course, but coming through to take the checker flag. A.J. Allmendinger. Two for two on the road courses, and contact as a number of cars are streaking for the strike. It's Brian Scott running in ninth position. If he gets by him, there'll be only eight cars on the lead lap. He has just run roughshod over this field. Final lap, the 54. This will be career win number 60, the all-time leader in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. And he's going to pick up win number six here at Bristol. White flag here one more time. Go on. He's going to have to make the outside work if he's going to get it done. Oh, he drove it in so far trying to loosen Harvick up. <laughs> See, look at Kyle. He is oh, giving you all he has. He's still not giving up. That might have been the race, though, right there. That bobble in the middle of one. Yeah, he did everything he could to get to his back bumper and loosen him up, but he didn't make it. Kevin Harvick is going to score another win at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Checkered flag tonight for the 33. The battle continues between Kyle Busch, Trevor Bain, Sam Hornish Jr. as the white flag comes out for Brad Keselowski. Keselowski he fell all the way back to 15th as now Brian Scott gets back to second. Has a 1.6 second lead, half a lap to go. It's going to help him in the owner's championship and it's going to be victory number 25. White flag is out and maybe, just maybe in a mile and a half, the, the hex will be broken for pole sitters. The pole sitter has never won here at Chicagoland in the Nationwide Series until maybe now. Just a couple of more corners for the 54 of Kyle Busch. His career leading 61st win as he's heading for the strike, 10th of the year, most of all drivers this season. Here he comes for the checkered flag, and he makes it look so easy. Second place, Thank you, Joey much, but We did our job. That's all you can do. Appreciate it, guys. Good job. Bullins, Gosh, he's done a great job. Bullens can't sit down. Two laps remaining. Just three miles separating this youngster from his first Nationwide Series win. A.J. Allmendig, Brad Keselowski. I mean, what a group that he is joining as a winner in this 22 car. Coming through turn number four. Another first-time winner in the Nationwide Series at Kentucky. It's Ryan Blaney. Got one more lap to finish I'm it sorry, up, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry, white flag, nope. white flag. But you know what? He's got a big enough lead that he's going to be fine. And I have been so impressed with the job he's done. And there were plenty of opportunities to fold on all these restarts. He was tested by Sam Hornish. He was tested by Austin Dillon. And in the end, he answers the bell. He's going to get his first cup uh, career nationwide series win. He absolutely is. Here he comes. First time winner. Fifth time here at Kentucky that we've seen it happen. Does it in style over Austin Dillon. Matt Crafton, Sam Hornish Jr., and a great run for Alex Bowman in fifth. White flags up. Does he have enough gas to make it another mile around at Dover and set the record for four consecutive wins? Underpower to the final quarters. I think he can coast from here. Four straight at this most difficult of tracks. Checkered flag for Joey Logano at Dover. 
Second place, Menard working on Smith while Kenseth puts a gap and comes to the white flag. We're in the final lap of the race. Matt Kenseth's team made repeated pit stops to fix the front end of this car earlier in the race and get it tuned up, then worked the strategy to get him back out in front. It's going to work to get him their second win of this season while they fight for second behind him. Matt Kenseth wins at Kansas. You're going to have to have something not just good, but something extraordinary because Kyle is phenomenal at this race. White round. flag, one more. Still by. And as he enters the last lap, Kyle looking for what would be his eighth nationwide series win here at this speedway. That's just incredible. Yeah, it really is. Outstanding he is. 25 races in the nationwide series here since the driver started on the pole and went to victory lane. Kyle Busch is going to break that streak tonight. He's going to sweep the season at Charlotte. Kyle Busch wins it. It's a year ago here in Texas, the NASCAR Sprint Cup race, when Brad and Jimmy Johnson had that fantastic fight with a championship on the line. Now one lap away from victory today here in Texas. Looking for his sixth win in the last eight races, his 26th overall in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, and his first in this series at Texas Motor Speedway. Checker flag uh, for Penske Racing and Brad Keselowski. If Allgaier can pass Dillon, that's a championship point that would swing back in Sam Wallace's favor. He's got a fender up beside him. White flag for the race leader and for second place. Little contact. All guy are saying, you've got more to lose than I do here. Final corners. Dylan coming back, racing for that runner-up spot. Not going to have a shot at that angle. Kyle Busch is going to lead 168 of 200 laps and score the win. Austin Dillon finishes third. Watching Sam Hornish come to the strike, and Sam finishes in fifth. Eight points between the top two going to the finale next Saturday. 99, Blake Cook looking for a spot. White flag is in the air. Final lap of the season is now. Keslowski leads. Hornish is eighth. Dylan is 11th. Hornish would have to pass four, make it three cars, or Dylan lose three spots in half a lap. Brad Keselowski is going to win the race 11th to first on a late charge. And coming to the checkered flag, the NASCAR Nationwide Series champion is going to be Austin Dillon.